Quinty's New Rock Source 91X. That was Fingers Crossed with Long Road Home. And speaking of Fingers Crossed, I have them in the studios with me. Say hi, guys. Hello. What's going on? Hi. I have all five members here with me today. Brandon, Lady Lee, Derek, Bobby, and Doug. So let's start this off. I'm going to start off with the lightning round. Are you ready? Let's so go start at Lady Lee and work the way across the room. Ready? Ready. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Brandon? Pepsi. Coke. Pepsi. Pepsi. Barack Obama or Stephen Harper? Barack Obama. Oh, Barack Obama. <laughs> the brother. <laughs> Obama, I'm taking. Obama. Oh, Obama across the board. Across the board. Mac or PC? Mac. You mean like macaroni and cheese versus computer? I'm sure. No. <laughs> no I'm, I'm just kidding you. Mac. Yeah, I'll say that too. PC. I'm PC. Mac. Ooh, pretty much split. Ibanez or Gibson guitars? Mm, Gibson. Ibanez. Gibson. Gibson. Ibanez. Ooh, I was hoping for Ibanez there. I'm an Ibanez man myself. <laughs> Last question of the lightning round. Would you rather live through the zombie apocalypse or the robot takeover? Oh, the robot takeover. Jeez, I don't know. Sounds better. I, the zombies. I, the, I've seen robots, so I, I guess I'd like to see some zombies. <laughs> Not the apocalypse. I've already got my backpack ready. So. <laughs> my backpack ready. <laughs> yeah, I'll go with the zombies. Yeah, I'll go. Yeah. All right, so let's move on to some other questions. You have two lead singers in the band, Lady Lee and Brandon. You both sing. What was the decision process behind that instead of just one singer? Well, it first started, uh, she was singing some pop rock songs like Beyonce and Pink, and I ended up learning one of them one day, and as she was singing, I shut the uh, radio off and got her to keep singing along to me playing the guitar, and she sounds beautiful, so we incorporated her in the band doing some backups, and the next thing you know, she's singing her own lead song on the album. And we harmonize beautifully. Yes, we together. sing well together. You do. I've heard some of your songs. Now, Brandon, there's a little dirt I found out about you. You were in the Trenton Idol singing competition in You've 2010. Been I've been bugging you about that the whole time. <laughs> would you like to explain yourself, and would you ever do it again? No, I wouldn't do it again. I had fun, but uh, at the time I had uh, broke up with, with the band I, I was with at the time, and uh, I wasn't really doing anything, and I just can't not do anything. So I figured I'd enter a singing competition, and I played one of the songs I wrote for my daughter, and... I ended up winning it and getting free recording at Papa D's Studios and doing one of my uh, very first piano songs. Well, awesome. Now, it's one more thing. I just want to, do you want to set up this song we're about to play? It's your new version of an old song? Yeah, it's Her Darkest Days. We uh, actually, we have um, Michael Wolfgang Verbecki, I think it is, from The Unchained. They're an amazing instrumental band out of Toronto. He's a guest appearance on our album doing lead work. And um, they'll be at our CD release party along with Veer City Waves, One Day to Live, Mark Taylor, um, and ourselves, of course. It's our CD release party, you know. Uh, that's at Feb 1st at Six and Stones. All so, right. Yeah. Well, let's get to it. Here's the newest version of Her Darkest Days by Fingers Crossed on 91X. Hey, hey, hey. Wow. Quinty's New Rock Source 91X. That was Fingers Crossed with Her Darkest Days, and they are still in the studio with me. Hello, guys. Hello. So let's keep this interview going. I want to know, where is your favorite place to play? Start at Lady Lee and work our way across. Um, Sticks and Stones is a good place. Sticks and Stones Billiards in Trenton. Yes, very nice. I'd say Sticks and Stones, yeah. too. The hometown crowd's good. I uh, haven't played there yet with these guys, but uh, Montreal is a great scene. Um, any any establishment in Montreal is just killer. It doesn't matter what night of the week you go. It's just uh, happening. One of the other places I played, uh, I, I'd have to say the Rock Cliff in Minden is my favorite bar. To play oh, all right. Yeah, I've treated very well. <laughs> Believe it or not, Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee. I played there once and just great city. Mm -hmm, Memphis, the, Tennessee. The plaid shirt. I should have saw that coming. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's keep a similar idea to this. You can pick one band to tour with, signed or already signed. Who would it be? Lady Lee, you're up. Do, 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 Mariana's do. Trench. Good call. <laughs> like That's them. a good band. Mm -hmm. Finger Eleven, myself. The Glenn Miller Trio. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a wild card in there. <laughs> well, I'm kind of a metal, heavy metal guy, but I'd like to go, you know, Chevelle would be great. 
I'm a big That's a good man. Yeah. Big Rack. Big Rack, all right. So going along with a similar theme of this, who are your biggest influences for what you do in the band? Uh, I would say Pink and Beyonce, Cheryl Crow. Oh, there's so many, but them few. I first got singing in the shower to Eddie Vedder and Pearl Jam, so I'm still going to stay with the Eddie Vedder thing. <laughs> <laughs> Zach Wilde is uh, going to be my biggest influence. you got a the bit guitar. of a beard going like Zach does, it's, too. It's coming. It's, uh, it's not quite matured yet. <laughs> <laughs> I say Dave Lombardo from Slayer. Oh, very he's nice. My, yeah, he's my guy. Do you use two kick drums or just the one? I use one, but a double kick pedal. Oh, all right. Uh, I know Dave uses the two kicks. Yes. Eric Clapton got me to pick up the guitar, so oh, I literally, yeah. yeah. He called him up. <laughs> he called him up yeah. and says, "Listen, <laughs> Dean, you got to pick that up right now. <laughs> <laughs> you got a slow hand." <laughs> well, the main reason why you're here is you have a CD release party coming out on February 1st. Your album's coming out. What's the name of the album? Fingers crossed. Self-ti- self-titled. Oh, self-titled albums are always good. Now, you're going to be debuting this album at Sticks and Stones Billiards in Trenton next Friday. That's February 1st at 8 o'clock. That's when doors open. Yes. And all the money is going where? All the money is going where? What money? Who said we're making <laughs> money? <laughs> we have some CDs for sale, obviously. Uh, we'll be having a door, uh, a door draw for free for every person who shows up. You get a free ticket uh, for a draw for our CD. There'll be a few local business vendors there. Janie Rotten, she's a body jewelry uh, place out of Trenton. And we have a tattoo shop, a uh, tattoo and piercing shop. Uh, it's your body. They'll be down there setting up. We um, would like to thank Harmony Music Plus at Belleville for the donation of a wonderful sound system for our uh, CD release and Riverside Music for the uh, lights that they're going to be donating to us. Yes, and the ticket sales from this are going to the Trenton Memorial Hospital Foundation. That, that's on this Friday. That's this Friday. That's this Friday. Not right. our CD if you want to check Friday. them out before their city release party, they're playing in Trenton at the Sticks and Stones Billiards. Tomorrow. Tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. And also, big news, they are going to be playing Little Texas in Belleville on Valentine's Day, February 14th. So bring your loved one out and rock the night away. The fingers crossed style. <laughs> yeah, All right, guys, I'd like to thank you for coming in today. If you want to check them out on Twitter, their Twitter tag is at FingersXDRocks. And you can also check them out online at FingersXD.com.